All right, everyone, I wanted to share with you some of the things I did to the Spectrum DX5E. Uh, we're taking this remote. It is an airplane remote, but we're going to be using it on a 114th scale tractor trailer. Uh, a lot of people use these remotes because of the additional switches that you can get in channels and things that you can add to your truck to make it do the things that you want it to do. But we basically just set this up for a buddy of mine just so that way you know he can start enjoying it a little bit uh if we want to add other things later on we'll do that uh first thing we did was we took the spring for the up down out of this remote and made two braces that screw in on the on the inside of the remote that lock it so it can't go up and down this channel is now just used for steering then we took the spring and the arm from this side installed it over to here because on an airplane this is I guess this would be your throttle up I've never really flown before or anything but it kind of clicks up and it'll stay it works just like a mouse on a computer almost what we wanted was for when we were going forward when we let go it would go back to neutral and same thing with reverse so all that was done just switched over from here to here like I said um, this side also controls our shifting from low middle and high and that's done basically here in the middle there's your low middle high now this thing works is uh, you can switch it on the fly from what it says and basically that would just be starting out low middle high and the same for reverse um, he's gonna try that out I don't know if he's gonna like that too much I don't like that setup um, personally I would think like either a three position switch you know would be pretty good but you can't take a two position which these are all two position switches and this is just uh, basically just a, a paddle you can't take a two position switch and turn it into a three position switch unless you change on the board and all this kind of stuff which we're not going in that depth on it I have no clue when it comes to that I do know that we could possibly take the proximity switch that's in here that you know measures all three spots of it and we could turn that into a three position switch and these have additional holes underneath the these stickers and there's two up here that we could run that switch into and just use it you know for low middle and high there's also a gentleman over in the UK that makes a wire adapter that goes between the servo and the RX on your truck which he does sell it's a three position and it just uses a trainer switch which you would hit it that would go to you know your middle gear and then it would go to high and then you'd hold it and it's set back to low so that may be an option that we may want to go to too but like I said well this is for a friend of mine just trying to help him out and I couldn't find a whole lot on a DX5E so I would just I figured I would share with you guys okay here's the inside of our remote and here's the stick that now does the up down and all that and if you see here it's kind of hard to see it let me see if I get some line on here if you see these little holes right here there's one there and one there now if you get a small enough screw like that's used on this tab here which this tab used to be on this side because that controlled the throttle up but we wanted the spring and the arm from here we took that and put that over here so that way you know it would spring back to neutral and stop the truck and it wouldn't keep going if you were you know letting the remote go so I just threw this over here just in case if you ever wants to switch it back you know it's just everything's right here but like I said these these two holes here if you use a small screw like what's right here you can actually take a servo horn run a small screw into each of them holes and it'll hold this 
tab that comes off of the uh, stick in place so it can't move up and down and basically what I did was I just took a regular servo horn and you just cut you can either cut this or sand this flat I used a pair of, of uh, hobby cutters and some sandpaper to smooth it out and also what you're gonna have to do is these kind of uh, you know fan out a little bit on the, on the ends they get a little bit thicker so what you can do is you can take your either some sandpaper uh, razor blade just watch it so you don't cut yourself and you can just shave this straight so that way it doesn't have a triangle shape to it which you can see you want to have it to have a straight edge on it that way when you take it and you cut it and you put it in there you know you can see see See, it lines right up perfectly and it braces against you know the the actual housing so and you can see how I trimmed it and sorry for the camera like I said I'm just shooting this off of my phone um, these like I said you remove the four screws out of here on the front side you can take this whole out whole thing out and then there's two screws on each side of the block which you can pull see the screws down there and that's that's your proximity switch down there that, that measures everything so we may cut that and turn that into a three position switch later on down the line but we'll see um, that's all I really got for it I mean I hope this helps somebody out you know uh, if it does that's great and if it don't well it is what it is so Alright, well, take it easy, y'all.